Hey guys, this is Mayor Line question number two. Um, anthropologists use a linear model to relate femur length to the height when discovering partial skeletons, and the model was created from the table below containing data on if eight different skeletons. So uh, they measured the, the leg bone or the femur of that skeleton and then how, high, how tall that skeleton was in general, and they notice a pattern that it seems like that as the femur lengths get longer, so too does the height of the entire uh, skeleton, as you would probably expect. The question is, if an anthropologist finds a femur 32 centimeters long, how tall might they have been? So if I want to put a 32 in this table, how could I find a matching possible height? And um, there's no way of really kind of estimating it just from the table. So we would love to use an equation if, for example, we knew that the height of the skeleton was equal to, you know, some rate of change times the femur length plus kind of some starting position, y equals ax plus b, uh, as a linear model, and there's the keyword right there, linear, equation of a line, then it would be easy, right? We'd just take that 32, plug it into the x, and we would be able to calculate the y. But we don't have an equation of a line. We only have this data over here. So it turns out that we've got eight data points. We're going to cut them in half, as always, with the uh, Mayer method. And so eight, eight xy's divided by 2 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So right there. And we're going to use the top four to calculate an average x for those. We don't know which one of these is the best case example of a point in that distribution. So we'll take the average of them, and chances are from the average we'll be able to get um, a decent um, result. And so x1 will be the average of those x's. So when you take the average um, of those x's, uh, all you have to do is add them up. 38 plus 41 and a half plus 43 plus 45.5 and then divide that by 4. When you do that, what you're going to get there is 42. Um, on the y side, for the y1, same thing. You're going to add up these four numbers, these four y's, and average them. And when you do that, you're going to get 157. And you can check my calculations if you want with your calculator, but you can trust me, they work out. So um, next up is the x2, or the second uh, x, which will be based on the average of the bottom four x's over here, and when you get the average of those, you're going to get a 50, and when you get the average of the y's over here, you're going to get a 177. So just a reminder, right, I just added those four up and divided by four to get those values, those numbers, and that's my y2. And what that allows me to do is to say, well, I've got an x1, y1. x1 is 42, and its corresponding y is 157, and my y2, sorry, x2 is a 50 with 177 for y2. This is my x1, y1, and this is my x2, y2. So we're trying to find the equation of a line. What we're going to do uh, is use the slope formula. Now that we have two points from the distribution, we can say, hey, A is equal to y2 minus y1, 177 minus 157 over 50 minus 42. Um, which, when you calculate that, will give you 20 over 8, which is 2.5. So your A is 2.5. Now you got to get your B. And to get that B, we use one of the points, I'll use point 0.1 over here, and the A that we found. So 157 is the Y equals 2.5 is the A. X is what is 42. And to that, I'm going to have to add uh, the B. So we're going to simplify here. 157 is equal to 2.5 times 42. That's 105 plus b, I have to subtract 105 from both sides and I get 52 is my b. So the equation of this line now that's going to allow me to make my prediction is y equals 2.5x, that was the rate of change that I calculated, plus a b of 52. And the whole reason I wanted that line, if you recall, is to be able to make the calculation of what happens 
when the x is 32, right? Femur length, as you recall, is our x. Be careful, sometimes they ask you to substitute in a y instead. This one here is the x. So y is equal to 2.5 times 32 plus 52. Uh, when you do that, you're going to get y is equal to 80 plus 52 which is y is equal to 132 centimeters. And that's your answer. So uh, really quickly to recap, cut it in half, get your average x, average y, average x, average y, that's your p1, there's your p2, get your a, get your b, put it all together into the rule, and then figure out where you're gonna do your substitution for which either x or y, to find the corresponding value. And that's, that's as hard as the mayor line gets, really.